Our next level sports training game of the week is Clinton Massey and Cardinal Mooney. The Falcons are in the finals for the second time in school history, and last year they won it all. This year, Massey has to deal with the elements and snow-covered field to go along with a tough battle with Youngstown Cardinal Mooney. First quarter, C.J. Emil breaks a couple tackles, finds daylight. Mooney strikes first with a 7-0 lead. The Plows, though, had to stop the game periodically to clear the way for the players and get some of that snow off of the turf. Massey trying to answer, goes with a rare pass. Hunter Rentress to Chase Wolf, 14-yard pickup and a first down after he's finally dragged down along the sideline. Then it's his brother Bailey Wolf punching it in from eight yards out and the Falcons tie the game at seven. You see the big snowflakes falling in Maslin, but it's not dampening the spirit of the Falcon faithful in the stands. However, this will. Mark Handel breaks off a 68-yard run down the sideline for a score. This is the longest play of the game, and it puts the Cardinals in front 14-7 at the end of one quarter. To the second we go, Massey going to use a little bit of misdirection here. Defense, they got fooled. Talked about it. Camer gets fooled too. Chase Wolf scampers 20 yards for the score. It's the longest play of the game for the Falcons, but more importantly, it ties the game at 14. It's a seesaw battle between these two squads, and after Clinton Massey fumbled, it sets up Cardinal Mooney in good field position. Handel gets it for a 12-yard touchdown. Mooney up 21-14 at the half. In the third, Bailey Wolf punches it in from a yard out, and it's a touchdown. We're tied at 21. Massey able to hold Mooney in check. We fast forward to the fourth, a minute and 10 seconds left, and it's Bailey Wolf. He had 172 yards and three scores, none bigger than this one. Falcons up 27-21. Mooney trying to respond after trailing for the first time all game. Jared Haley comes up with the interception around midfield, puts the game on ice. Clinton Massey is back-to-back -back state champs with a 27-21 win over Mooney. This is without question the most rewarding season of my life, and I couldn't be more proud of a group of guys. They showed so much heart to get here, beating the two top teams in Kenton, beating uh, Kettering Alter, and then coming in here and taking on a team like this. Just incredible. It took a team effort, and that's how we won it. And that's why we're back-to-back -back state champs, man. I'm just so proud of the way we turned our season around week five after our loss to the sales, and uh, we really put things together, and look where we're at now. Clinton Massey has now gone 29-1 over the last two seasons with two titles.